Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. Now in the previous episode, we did a lot of work to the west end grounds of the castle, we added a magnificent hedge maze, we also did a lot of work on the staircase leading up to said hedge maze, and of course we did some work on the cliff and it's all looking absolutely phenomenal. Right at the top, we added a beautiful fountain and we also created an alternate gate for the castle. But despite everything we've managed to do, we unfortunately are still nowhere near finished. And today we're going to continue working on this area and I'm going to start right here in this garden because if you look at it, it's looking beautiful, but it's still looking very bland and very empty. As you can see, we only have the hedge maze in the fountain and other than that, there's nothing much going on here. So I think what we're going to do today is add some trees because trees are beautiful and they make any area just look so much better. And to illustrate my point, I'm just going to wander my way through the hedge maze. Yes, there is a way to get through it in case you were wondering and there's only one way. But when you get to the end of it, there's no reward here. It's just flat, it's empty and there definitely is room for some improvement. So what we're going to do is we're going to plant a bunch of trees up here and then I'm going to line the edge of this area with some bushes. Now as you can see we've got plenty of trees, plenty of bushes, plenty of flowers all over the castle grounds as it is and this area could really stand to benefit from some of that. So let's get busy and let's go design ourselves a few trees to plant up here. And I am in my creative design world as you can see there's some of the past designs that we have done and the reason I'm here is because well trees are really really hard to do well and I want these trees to be amazing. So let's start off with our leaf palette and we're going to be using some spruce leaves, some birch leaves and some acacia leaves and that'll give us a nice gradient to work with. But in order to build a tree you first need a tree trunk so let's build that first and then we'll go from there. And our tree trunk is almost done and there we go. Yes it looks a little bit like a space needle at the moment but we're gonna fix that in no time. Now the first thing I want to do is add some texture to the bark and the only way I can do that is by stripping away some of the bark itself leaving the exposed wood underneath. Now this is something that I saw B00 do in one of his episodes and it looked absolutely amazing. So amazing in fact that I just have to try it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is start adding the leaves and I've been looking at a lot of photos of spruce trees and pine trees in general and something I've noticed is that the leaves aren't uniform. The level at which they sit aren't uniform. They sort of lean to one side or the other and also they seem to grow in layers. So I'm going to try and emulate all of that in this tree but first I think I'm going to start off with a nice dense layer of leaves and then I'll shape it and sculpt it to the shape and form that I want it to be. So first things first, let's get a bunch of leaves in there and then we'll take it from there. And finally we have a bunch of leaves on our tree and I must say I am quite happy with the results. As you can see we've got the different layers sitting there, you've got them tilting in either direction and so far the progress has been amazing. Next thing of course we need to start replacing some of the spruce leaves with some of the other colored leaves and I've already done some of it down here but I'm not sure if that is entirely enough. I think we're going to need a little bit more color to these just to get that proper gradient in them and the trick is to figure out what is the best way to do that. Now this is why it is better to build in creative mode for now until I figure out exactly how to build these trees, practice a little bit and figure out what's the most efficient way. And that is one good looking tree indeed, I really do love it. I've got the layers, I've got the tilt on the branches, but I don't think I'm quite there yet with the shading. But I'm going to build a few more of these, practice building them to get the best way of doing it and then once I've got a bunch of them, I will go into the hardcore world and I will build my trees there. So that's one down, let's build some more. And while I've been practicing building these trees, I thought about something else that B-Dub said 
And that is that the bark of trees aren't actually brown. They're sort of more a grayish tint. And looking at some more photos, that is indeed the case with spruce trees. So instead of using the spruce logs for the trunk, I have switched to acacia logs. And I really do like the gray look on the bark. Additionally, instead of using the spruce leaves as a starting point, I'm using the acacia leaves as a starting point because there's a lot more of the lighter green on the edges of it. Once all of the leaves are in place, I'll go in and I'll replace those closer to the trunk with some spruce and some birch leaves. So all in all, all of this is a learning process and I think I'm finally getting somewhere. I'm becoming more confident with it and the trees are looking phenomenal. So I'm going to build a few more trees here because practice makes perfect and I want the trees in my hardcore world to be absolutely perfect. So let's finish up a few more of these before we head over. And here we go, we're back in the hardcore world. This is the real world and as you can see I've got a bunch of the good stuff ready to go. Now what I want to do is build about 10 or 11 of these big spruce trees all around the edge of this platform and for that I'm gonna need a bunch of logs, I've got some red sand to create a little bit of texture on the stripped away bark parts and then I've got some andesite walls, some spruce leaves of course and then the acacia and the birch leaves and with all of this I think we are just about to get started. Let me just put away some of the nonsense in my inventory, grab a few more leaves and then let's get busy. And our trees are done and they are looking amazing. Now of course the next thing I want to do is this little hedge that goes around this entire part at the top. And for that I've got some more oak leaves, I've got some moss and then I've got some azalea leaves. And I'm going to be using this to create a bit of a color gradient on the hedge itself. But first I'm just going to lay out the entire thing with some oak leaves. So let's get started. And we are done. Just look at the gradient on that hedge. Just look at those trees. It is looking absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely love this area. And we've still got some more to do. Now the next thing I want to do is of course add some potted plants. Perhaps some potted trees on the way to the fountain. But for that I'm going to need a bunch of stuff. And the first thing I'm going to need is some pots. And to make pots I need clay, but fortunately I have smelted a ton of clay, it, it should be here somewhere, um, in one of the chests. Where on earth did I put it? Of course I should have looked in the most obvious place, which is my warehouse. And I think two stacks of bricks would be more than enough. You only need four per big pot and then three per small pot. And seriously Mojang, it doesn't need to rain all the time. Fortunately, I can fix it because it is night and I can just go to bed. And in the sun of a brand new day, I am out here collecting some dead bushes because you can't make a beautiful tree in a pot without some dead bushes. So I think I'm just going to grab about a stack or so of these. And with clay and dead bushes in hand, it is time to start making some pots and crafting some trees. So first let's pop down our crafting table over here. Then let's grab our box with, where did I put it? There we go. With our bricks down here. And then we can make ourselves some pots and flower pots. And the next thing to figure out is how closely together I want to put these. Um, I think I'm going to start off putting them one apart, see what that looks like, but I have a feeling that this might be a little bit too cramped. 
And yeah, that, that does feel a little bit cramped. Let's put them two apart and see if that's any better. We'll start at the same place. Just space them out two. And then we'll see what that looks like. And already I think that's the way to go. So let's break down the ones we've put down here. Let's space them apart two blocks. And that should look a lot less cluttered. Next up, we're putting the flower pots inside the little pots. And no, not there. And now we're adding some dead bushes, which of course is the trunk of the small trees. Next up, some leaves at the top, and I'm going for cherry for a bit of extra color. And there we go. We have some trees and pots, and I can't say I am absolutely crazy about them. I think they might be a little bit too tall because they're three blocks tall. If I could make them two blocks tall, that would be infinitely better. But I don't think there's a way to get the full effect of having an actual tree in just the two blocks. So let's just see. And uh, that looks awful. That's definitely not the way to go. So while I'm mulling it over, I'm going to be planting a few flowers in these corners over here. I've decided I'm not going to make these little parts a part of the hedge maze. I'm rather going to close them off and then add some flowers. And that is already looking quite lovely. So let's do the same over here. And believe it or not, it is raining once again. It is getting a little bit ridiculous, but we'll live with it. I don't have the luxury of not recording when it's raining because I still need to pass the day somehow. So even though there are plenty of people who say they don't record while it's raining, I unfortunately can't not record. Now I've had an idea over here. I'm gonna add some of the saplings, some cherry and some flowering azalea saplings to these and see what they look like. I wanna use a little bit of color on these, which is why I'm using the flowering azaleas and uh, that looks terrible. Let's see if the cherry saplings look any better. Here we go. Let's just take a step back and the cherry saplings definitely do look better. I wish they were a little bit bigger, but this is the best I can think of right now. Maybe I'll come up with a better solution in the future, but for now I think this is going to do it. So let's just add the cherry saplings there to these pots as well. And seriously, dude, are you just going to leave that there? No. No. And we've got all of our cherry saplings in the pots. I've added a little bit of iron railings over here just to finish this place off a little bit better. And with the addition of some mossy cobblestone, some cobblestone and mossy stone bricks to the path, it is looking really, really good. So I think that does it for that area right now. I think it's time to move on to the next. And that is, of course, this piece over here. Now, I didn't have a clear idea of what I was going to do when I originally dug it out. But now that I've got the trees in here, I can see that this needs to be carved back another three blocks or so. So let's just get in here and we'll take down three layers in this direction. And already it is looking a lot more open, a lot cleaner. Just those three layers made a massive difference, which means we can now start working on a staircase, which will take us up to the top tier over there. And I'm going to have the middle of the staircase sitting right here. Other than that, I have no idea what I want to do for the staircase. I don't know if I want to make it big and grand, if I want to make it small and elegant or something in between. I'm just going to start building and see where it takes me. So, of course, we're going to have a landing right over there at the top. Let's make that about five blocks wide and then we'll bring it out to the front. Just three blocks, I think, ought to do it. Next, I've gone with a slab staircase instead of stairs, and I think that just gives us a bit more of a gradual incline. I don't want this to be too upright, and so far I think we've got a good thing going here, so let's just replicate the staircase on the other side as well. There we go, and then just take it down with the slabs. See what we've got, and this should give us a proper starting point to work from. And, um... Well, we've got something there so far. It's not looking extremely brilliant, but we've still got a lot of work to do. 
And I think the best thing to do right now is to work on the actual stairs themselves. And for that, I'm going to need a little bit of spruce slabs because I want to make a banister going up. Uh, along with the spruce slabs, I think I'm going to make a few spruce fences because I've got something in mind. Whether it's going to work, I'll still have to see. But the best way to figure it out is to actually do it and go from there. Now, I think the first thing I want to do is just make an end for these. And the original idea I had did not work at all. It looked terrible. I think we've got something better going now. Let's just do that. And then over on this side, we'll do the same. Um, except I've messed something up somewhere. Because those two are not the same. But I have fixed it and I've added a little bit of calcite underneath. And now I am actually quite happy with a staircase and that means the wall behind it is starting to look a little bit drab so that's going to be the next thing we tackle and i'm just going to carve out one layer over here because i want the wall to be recessed into the side next i'm adding a few sturdy spruce support trunks over here and i'm going to add one under each of these walls so let's get no not there there that's better and then a few design elements, just some upside down stairs right there. So we've got a little bit of depth to the wall. And finally, a little bit of decoration, a little bit of contrast and texture. So we're adding a bit of cobblestone, a bit of mossy cobblestone, and then we're gonna replace a few of these bricks with the mossy variant. And overall, the gardens are looking quite spectacular. I've grown to like these cherry blossoms in the pots and I've also grown to like that staircase very, very much. The trees are looking absolutely stunning, framing the staircase. And as you can see, the addition of the mossy cobblestone cobblestone and the mossy stone brick stairs are working very, very well. But the trees, just look at those trees, absolutely gorgeous. This entire garden up here is going to look so beautiful once we are done and I can hardly wait until that is the case. But that unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, is all we have time for today. It was a little bit touch and go getting this episode out in a proper time frame, but we have done it once again, and I think we have made some absolutely stunning progress. Of course, there is tons and tons more to do, but we will continue that in the next episode. I really do hope you enjoyed this episode, Leave a like if you did, and if you want to see some more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you want to help support the channel, go check out our memberships. But this is Fungosaurus Rex saying, until next time beautiful people, stay awesome. Bye bye.